make her weak. You're gonna wanna listen up. Ignore her. There is nothing better than a man that doesn't speak to me. A kid. But listen, if you're replying within three seconds every time I text you, I'm going to think your entire life is revolving around me. Which means it's probably not revolving around the things that matter. Like, oh, I don't know. Becoming a high value man. <laughs> she just said that. You shouldn't be replying right away if you're trying to make a woman weak. First of all, I don't even like the saying making a woman weak. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> right? I don't even want to say that. Right? It's just something sounds off about it. But you see, she's saying don't answer back right away. Don't answer right in three seconds, which I agree. But at the same time, you shouldn't be trying to fake this. I've talked about this before. If a chick texts you, if I'm free, I'm going to answer the phone. Right, if I'm not free, then I'm not gonna answer the phone until I'm free. You don't wanna be a guy faking this shit. Cause what happens when you come when you're faking this shit like that, when you're faking being that guy, you end up contradicting yourself along the way. That's why I don't agree with the whole faking this shit, trying to pretend like you're this super busy guy when you're really not. Go in for the kiss, but okay. linger for a second. Let it build. Oh, okay. A guy that's confident enough to maintain that level of uncomfortable closeness and eye contact for more than a few seconds is a guy I wanna be with. Look the part. If you're trying to make me weak tonight, I that other one was, was some game right there. When you're going in to kiss a chick for the first time, you just tap her lip and then hold, pull back for like one, two, three seconds, look at her in the eye and then go for it. That right there, I'm telling y'all, yo, make chicks go crazy. I'm telling y'all. That feeling of, you know, just building some little extra tension. I really like that one right there because I myself have used that. I just think it spices things up just a little bit more. If you're trying to make me weak tonight, I wouldn't recommend wearing that tropical print shirt. Let's wear some dark colors and keep it basic. Groom up, manscape, and get that quiff and check. Yes, a quiff. The ultimate make her weak hairstyle. Unless you're bald, you need to stop making excuses for your volume. I promise it's possible. Get your haircuts right. You have to make sure your hair game and, and your appearance game is on point. If you're a guy that has hair like me, try to find the hairstyle that be looks best on you. Don't be afraid to experiment new hairstyles and new different looks, right? Try it out to see which one fits you best. A lot of y'all are just too scared to try new things, which is why you don't look your best, right? You don't look your best because you're afraid to try the, to try the mohawk, to try the low fade, the high fade, the mid fade, the cornrows, whatever. Right? You're afraid to try things, so you don't know how you're gonna reach your maximum potential of being attractive. Not necessarily you have to look like the guy that she's showing on the screen, but you should try to find a haircut that makes you look your best. ...validate her. I'm sure if you've ever dated a woman before, you've heard the statement, I look so fat, guilty as charged. I say this at least 10 times a day. Listen, it's okay to validate and throw compliments around, mm -hmm. but consistently validating this belittling behavior will lose its meaning. She won't value compliments that have been thrown around to pacify her in the past problem I have with the video is the title, bruh. <laughs> Making a, me a woman weak. Why, why do we want to make women weak? Like, what the fuck? What, like, what does that mean? Like, are we talking about making her more feminine, making her more submissive? And the last part about validating her, right? You guys never want to be the guy putting women up on pedestals. You want to compliment her. You want to let her know that you're interested in her sexually and she got it and all, but you don't want to put her on the pedestal like, oh my God, the queen, you're the fucking queen. You're so gorgeous. I'm so lucky to be with you. You don't want to put it on that sort of energy because now what's going to happen is she's going to look at you and, and and be like, man, I'm better than, than this motherfucker. I can do way better than this motherfucker. Guys, you have to be on your purpose, okay? You have to have things going on to the point where you don't need to fake being busy. You know? It just happens naturally. I'm out here in the gym. I'm working out. Okay, I'll respond in two hours when I'm done working out. I'm making videos. I'll respond when I'm done making videos, right? I don't gotta fake this shit. I'm not gonna receive a text from old girl. Oh, let me put it on a timer. And when the ti this timer goes off, that's when I'm gonna respond. You don't wanna do this. Right, but at the same time though, at the exact same time, right, sometimes it's okay to give a little suspense, right? Just try not to fake it. Also, when she was talking about let the kiss linger, you know what I'm saying? Your boy has got that one in his arsenal, bruh. When I'm going to kiss a girl for the first time or on the first date, shit's getting hot and heavy, I'm about to make my move. I like to give that little suspense, right? And I like to hold eye contact, you know what I'm saying, and build the tension. I appreciate y'all for watching. If there's something you agree with or disagree, let me know in the comments what y'all think. As always, I love y'all boys. Click the video on the screen to find out why women are sleeping with all the broke motherfuckers because that video has some heavy game man if you want to un understand sexual attraction and the different forms of attraction a lot more i'm gonna holla at y'all later man it's been your boy peace